right here, 22 and one. You've won 19 consecutive fights. You trying to get one more in before the year is up or what? Yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah, I definitely want to get another one. I'm one of the champions chasing the contenders. You know what I mean? We've yep. got a lot, of, uh, a lot of guys in our division. We're about to fight each other behind every single one of them. That's our team. Winner by unanimous decision, Brian T. City Ortega! All, all my homies that rolled me, even after the last one, I love you. For all you who counted me out, learn to count my This game, you take chances, you know what I'm saying? You don't, you don't grow in the comfort zone. Alexander Volkanovsky, you're the champ. The thought of fighting you is an excitement. I got a whole team, and we're, and we're ready, man. You know what I'm saying? Ready or not, coming. It's a great fight. Like, if you look at the fight on paper, especially after his fight with Korean Zombie, it's a fun fight to watch. Like, yeah, no, he, he definitely uh, definitely looked good in that fight. He surprised me in that fight too. He definitely uh, changed his game a little bit and then fought uh, a, a different fight that I wasn't expecting. But uh, but again, you know, you know, I'm confident in my abilities. I just I just believe I'll be too much. And He's dangerous. He's a long range of guys, well on the sling him on his feet, and he has a very, very slick jiu-jitsu game. He's real legacy jiu-jitsu. He comes from, you know, that Henner and Huron camp, and you know, from that's Horian school where Hoist was from. His technique is so fucking sharp, yeah. and he can do that with everything. I mean, arm bars, triangles. I think he's got like a good squeeze card. Brian T. City Ortega, UFC heavyweight champion of the world.